Hello everybody, this is Justin with LED SignCo here again, and today I'm going to go through one of the more difficult concepts associated with the ITV software, and that is how we can display different content in different portions of our LED screen. Yes, it's possible. It's a little bit tricky though. So I've, what I've got pulled up here is a graphic that I've made, and um, this is actually the exact sequence of commands that you need to enter into ITV to display on the left side of your screen an act or an image, and on the right side of your screen a, a piece of text um, using whatever actions you feel fit. And this is once again the exact list of commands. And I know you don't probably understand what that means yet, but I'm about ready to go through uh, exactly what you need to do. Um, to get this, but basically what you need to understand starting off is um, what we're going through in this tutorial is how we can break up different regions of our LED screen so that we can be displaying different things at different por in different portions of your screen simultaneously. So I've got a, this uh, preset town presentation that I made up and down here near the bottom I actually have an example of what I'm talking about. Uh, you know a lot of people when they're making their presentations they start to ask, uh, you know, can I display text um, and an image at the same time? And I say, well, yes, and the easiest way to accomplish this is simply to make a photo, um, you know, using graphic design software, where you can actually, you know, go in and lay your graphic in the background and lay some text over the foreground, and boom, you've got that accomplished fairly easily using layers um, on Photoshop or whatever have you. Uh, but you can also accomplish um, something a little bit different in the ITV software and that can basically be done just by defining uh, using these region tools down here at the bottom what portion of the screen we are working with. So to give you a quick example um, this formula or this exact we can call it a formula that I have pulled up right here is exactly what I've got on our screen right here. So this is, um, well not that, that's just part of the promo. But yeah, you can display an image and you can display some text at the same time. <coughs> you can make them both appear at the exact same time, fade out at the same time. You can do this with any portion of your screen. You can make, you know, um, an area of the screen off to the left, display text that scrolls, uh, you know, up and down and display a picture off to the right or, you know, vice versa. Maybe display something on the upper half of your screen and something else in the lower half of your screen. But uh, basically, uh, this can all be accomplished using these region tools down here near the bottom. And the very first thing I want you to uh, take note of is the region select tool, which is right here. If you click on it, it will pull up your LED screen that you have set to the software. So as long as your software, once again, as I went through in the earlier tutorials, is set to the correct size of sign. You can go um, define uh, what portion of your screen you want to be working with specifically. So um, say you only want to mess with the left side. You would just drag this box and select the left side of your screen and then you would click OK. Or you could just click these buttons right here, full, upper, or lower to <coughs> quickly select it. But um, I think it's just easier to just drag your cursor across the screen. And then you just click OK and that will appear in your timeline like so. Now we're not actually going to use that. I'm going to delete that right here. Um, but uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to open up a whole new um, presentation to display exactly um, what I'm going to do with this. Okay. So let's start off. Let's make a simple command here. Okay. So say this is what we want on the full screen. And now we're going to want something to simply display on our, our, the left side of our screen. We're going to go to this region select tool and we're going to select the left side of our screen. Now when this appears on your timeline, everything below this region select um, command right here will only apply to the region that is selected. If we go in and add animations, text, images, it will only appear on that left side of the screen. And in fact, if you try to define something for the right side of the screen, um, or basically the right side of the screen is going to stay uh, exactly as it was right before it switched to the left side of the screen so if you were running an image um, on your full screen up here above these tools and then you start defining things to happen to the left side but not to the right side basically that image will just get cut in half and it will sit there on the right side of the screen because the sign hasn't um, 
you haven't basically instructed the sign to do anything to the right side. So when you're working with the region tools, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to define what's happening to the entire sign, the sign in its entirety. So if we want to be messing with the left side initially, uh, we need to go through, we need to define exactly what we want to happen to the left side, and then what we need to do is we need to go through and define what needs to happen to the right side. And that's why I've got this simple formula right here. We've got our region left, we need to insert an image or text or what have you and add an, an action to define how it should enter. <coughs> then we need to go through and we need to define what's going to happen to the right side as well. And I'm simply working in terms of just right and left sides um, right at this moment just because I find that makes it simpler. As soon as you understand the concept, it can work any other way. You can make it you know, top and bottom, the left three-fourths and the right Fourth, um, it's really, you know, whatever you want at that point in time. So let's just go through. I'm just going to demonstrate exactly what we can do right here. So I'm going to insert a uh, text right on the left side. For example, and we'll make that yellow, and we'll make this uh, we'll make this spray in. And then we'll add in a wait time. And you're not supposed to add in a wait time. I'm just going to show why you don't want to do that in this specific instance. Okay. And then let's insert an image on the right side. So if you didn't see what I just did, I um, instructed the sign. And the left half, enter this text command right here. And then wait one second. And then right here on the right half, I'm going to insert file image. Yeah, flower is cool. All right, we'll insert that flower, uh, and then we'll have it uh, move in from the top. Oops. There we go. And we'll add in a wait time right there. Okay, now let's see what we got when we hit play. We get the test. Okay. So did you see what just happened? When I hit play, and the left side comes in, and then the right side comes in separately. Um, everything below each one of these um, region commands will apply specifically to the region that's selected. But you notice that there was a pause in between when the left um, text came in and when the right uh, picture came in. <coughs> that's because we've got a wait time up there following the first region tool uh, or the first region command. You, you don't want to add in a wait time basically until you've defined what needs to happen up to the entire sign. So once you've defined what's going to happen to all the regions of the sign, you want to have your wait time. To demonstrate um, this concept just real quick, I'm going to make this wait time slightly longer so you can see the difference. Okay, so notice right here as it's reading through this list of commands. Um, I put the region full tool, which is right down here, up at top. And, and as soon as you're working with the region commands, as soon as you um, are done defining a certain region, you need to define that you're working with the full region. So at the top of your presentation, just um, click up there and add the region full button, like so. And when you're done working with specific regions and want to work with the sign in its entirety, you need to go back and define that you are working with the full sign. So down at the bottom, have a region full. <coughs> okay, so it's reading through the list of commands, and we define uh, that we're going to work with the entire region of the sign. So it says, okay, we're going to use the whole sign, and we're going to display this text right here that says test, and you're going to wait one second. Then it goes down right here, and it says, okay, sign ignore everything that's happening to the right side right now. We're just going to work with the left side. We're going to dis we're going to display the word example and with using this action then we're going to wait five seconds before we move on to the next command. Well, I mean that would be fine, a fine command if you're working with the sign it's in its entirety, but since we haven't defined anything else to happen to the right side of the sign at this point in time, it, it is only working with the left side and that's a problem. And that's why we want to take out the wait time like so. You want to have just a command, no wait time, and then when you're working with your final second or third region, just depending upon however many uh, segments you've broken the sign up into, 
then you go back in and you put in a wait time. So when we do that, it should look like this. And it's a little bit more seamless. Now the animation is going to make it seem a little bit choppy, so my advice is just uh, for that first action, just make it a no action so it just appears. <coughs> and that's how you break the sign up into different segments, and I know that might be a little bit confusing. I actually am having quite a bit of trouble just even explaining it. It's kind of just hard to articulate this sort of thing. Um, but once you figure it out, it's, it's very... Um, intuitive, it's very easy. Um, the region tools work just like the timetable tools, everything below them applies to them, so as soon as you start breaking up the sign into regions, once again, you need to define when you're working with the full sign at the top. If you don't do that, your whole presentation is going to get messed up um, after the sign reads through the list of commands once. And then when you're working with specific regions, you need to be defining that region and all the missing regions of the sign, or else it might appear glitchy or choppy. So if, once again, that didn't make any sense, uh, here is a, an exact formula list of commands that you could input into your um, ITV software to get what I just did. Um, and I just recommend playing with it a little bit. As soon as you play with it and figure out how to do it, it really shouldn't be too hard. So. Um, I, I apologize, I feel like I've had a lot of trouble explaining the subject, but I hope I was able to um, convey exactly what you needed to know. Um, thanks, that's about all I have for today.